All right, guys, there it is. The new Mercedes EQS 450. We're gonna have to take a look at this car inside and do a full tour of this thing. But so far, I think the outside looks super cool. I don't know, what do you guys think? That is cool, I like that grill. Very impressive. <laughs> This key is about $800, guys. Um, so I'm gonna be really careful with this key. But uh, let's check out the interior. Okay, so this is the inside of this um, EQS 450. Right off the bat, look at the wood trim on here. The nice leather. Oh, this thing is a beauty. And over inside of it, that's the start button. Literally, it is so futuristic, it's not even funny, guys. Turn it on, check it out. And the hyper screen goes from vent all the way to that vent over there. So it's this whole entire thing is a screen. And this section only activates when a passenger is sitting in here. And they can view that side. But this is a, this is wild. This is a wild car. I love this interior. Look at this. A comfortable headrest, pillows. Love that. It's like a white color. It's kind of scary when you have coffee. You don't want to have coffee in here. The ambient lighting, the two, I love this. It goes all the way around, you see, through the back, and it follows the top of that, right? And then it goes around the actual, uh, I guess we open the door and the buttons for the seat. And then all the ambient lighting down at the bottom. And here we have the cup holders and more ambient light, which I know you can change the color in that. Look at this. Check this out. You see the little Mercedes logos on there? That's so cool. I'm blown away looking at this car. We open up this. There's the $800 key right there. Close that. I don't want to lose that key. Um, but as you guys come in here, you guys play. Uh, everything is touchscreen. The only thing that are actually push buttons is your buttons right here, and then the buttons up here um, for the menu. But uh, for temperature wise, everything is controlled here. Let's go to navigation. Yeah, this is nice. I can go back to the menu here, go media, and I want to go to the EQS version of this car. And it's giving you here the charging. You know, this is currently on charge right now. I don't know if you guys can see right there, it's charging. But uh, this is where it gives, you, it gives you the schematics of where it's at, the range, how much range you have left, 222 miles to go, and then the consumption. Um, so uh, miles start to finish kind of thing. You know, how many hours, minutes. This is cool. Very informational for sure. So I love this. The hyper screen, I can't get over that. Guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about the screen. Is it worth it? I have no idea, and I don't wanna know how much it would cost if any other stuff breaks. I mean, I only assume you you gotta take the whole screen out to replace. That would be my opinion. Um, I don't know. And then you can connect headphones. If you're a passenger, you can connect headphones and just you listen to it. That's super you cool, man. It's impressive. Full screens are playing, huh? There it is. <laughs> so in order for it to work, it's got to be on. Okay, I get it. <laughs> so cool, dude. I think it's pretty cool, guys. I don't know. What, what do you guys think? Wow. And I got to be sitting here the whole time, right? Because if I get up, yeah, it's going to go gonna away. It's going to turn off. Wow. This is impressive, man. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> I was scared. I was scared to do that. No, I mean they want to make sure it's. 
some feeling. Gotcha. Well, now I'm not I know. Sure that, like, like if there's like a little bit of snow or ice or whatever. So, but you have, but you have to go like this to it. What's that? You you have to go like this to it, right? To lock it, yeah. To lock. I mean, they want to make sure that like this can like like punch through any ice. Oh, I see know. what you're saying. You can almost push it away. This is pretty cool. This is a sick car, man. I like it. A lot of, a lot of money, man. Oh, okay. That's what I wanted to see. How big it is. Look at that. Yeah, the little kid's gonna lose that, dude. I mean, I came here. I, I'm... I mean, you can adjust it. <laughs> that is super sick, dude. And the rear cameras are down here? Well, it's got one in the, like, the, like most cars that you see. That's pretty cool, dude. I like that. Especially useful storage. Okay. I got you. Wow, this thing is cool, dude. Oh, man. Someday, man. So this is... It's a hybrid. It just pops open, right? You just push it open? Yeah, just click it. All right, and then you add fluid in there. Washer fluid. I don't want... Yeah, that's that's why I want a professional to do it, because if I touch that, this is... I mean... Oh, okay. Hmm. So basically, this stuff is just pretty much. Yeah, I mean, this is cool. Like, these I'm are sure probably super expensive, too, though, right? But these have like have their own like air coolers. Seriously? Because they get that hot. I don't know. It's like so much computing. Wow. Mercedes Benz, man. That's pretty cool. I'm very, very impressed. Batteries are underneath, right? Yeah. Or am I wrong? Yeah. Okay. So, in the case this car dies, how do you how do you jump it, or what do you do? I mean, that's the problem. Like, the car would make sure it alerts you and gives you uh, charging options and stuff like that. I like it. I think it's cool. Yeah, for sure, man. I mean, yeah, the plaid is fast and all, but this is this is more luxury right here. Yeah, I agree. I agree, man. Okay, so here's a new Mercedes EQS 450. dinner at this place right over here get some delicious tacos let me get the door da, 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 da. go ahead go in first and then we're gonna go into this delicious place right here